Hi guys, welcome back. This is Deepesh from Freshersworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on jobs and careers. Today we'll be starting with a new topic, something known as broadcast receiver in an Android session. So before starting up, we have to understand what is broadcast receiver. So broadcast receiver is an application component in an Android operating system. So a broadcast receiver can receive messages either from the system or from the applications. So the broadcast receiver has to be registered in an app. So now let's see with an example, how do we initialize a broadcast receiver? What are the methods that are there in the broadcast receiver? So now in today's example, we'll see how to receive a broadcast whenever we get an SMS. So let's start. As usual, I have my main activity. So what I'll try to do now is I'll try to create a simple Java class, a simple Java class, something known as incoming SMS. So I'll try to make this as incoming SMS, fine. So now my class is created whenever a class, if it has to act as a broadcast receiver, so you need to extend the broadcast receivers. So when you try to extend a broadcast receiver, you will be overriding some methods. So let's see what is that method by just extending it. So extends, so broadcast receiver, broadcast receiver, fine. So now I have used broadcast receivers, so it's showing me some errors. So when I try to press alt enter, implement methods. So this is the default method that you have to implement that is on receive. So now what I try to do is, I try to put a toast message, just a simple toast messages, so something like, this should be the context that we are trying to use. So using this content, you will be able to initialize another activity or you will be able to get the resources. Using intent, you will be able to traverse to another activity if you want to. So now I have my context. I'll try to put a toast message whenever we get a broadcast. I'll try to uh, put a toast message stating you received a broadcast. So I'll try to put a message, you received a broadcast. You received broadcast. So now whenever a system receives a message, this app would be notified that there is a message and this broadcast receiver would be called. So now toast dot length. So toast dot length dot show. Fine. So now my broadcast receiver class is ready. One important thing that I have to do now is I have to register my broadcast in my manifest. So now I have to register my broadcast receiver. So what I'll try to do is I'll try to register. So this way of registering is something known as static way of registering it. So now what I have to do is I have to put the permissions before that. So users permission. So that is something like if I try to get an SMS, it has to notify me. So what I try to do SMS read SMS. So like this, I have many permissions that I have to overwrite. So what I try to do is I try to paste the permissions that I'll be using in my app. Fine. So now I try to paste this. So now, as you can see, after adding these permissions is whenever I get an SMS, I have to handle that in my receiver class. That is my income SMS class, which extends broadcast receiver. So now what I have tried to do is I have to initialize this in my manifest file. This is a static way of doing. So this is a static broadcast receiver. So in simple terms, if you want to understand broadcast receiver, assume your battery is low, you get a notification. So this is nothing but a broadcast receiver from the system. So now whenever you try to get a message, something like WhatsApp, now it is again a broadcast, which is a dynamic broadcast. So now we'll see how to register this incoming SMS in my manifest file. So I'll try to receiver Android name in incoming SMS. Fine. So inside this, I have to add some permissions. So what I'll try to do is I'll try to take this permissions and I'll try to paste this. Fine. So now I'll try to explain you what I have done here. Right. So I have my receiver class that is incoming SMS. So the priority would be 999, which is of high priority. So my action is if my screen is off, now I received an SMS. So you get a notification, right? You have an uh, SMS. The same thing, if the screen is off, I have to on the screen. And what I have to do is I have to get a telephony manager. So because I'll be reading the SMS, right? So whenever I send a message or whenever I get a message, right? It has to be broadcasted. So I'm using the other one is telephony SMS received. The other one is screen on. So now this is all set and done. I have a toast message. So what I'll try to do now is I'll try to run this program and we'll quickly see what is the output. 
fine so now my app is up and ready so what i'll try to do is i'll try to go to my message yeah so i'll try to keep my emulator as well so i'll try to send a message so now you should be able to get a toast message right so now we got a toast message a broadcast was received so now we go to our incoming sms class we receive broadcast so whenever you get a broadcast you have to write that in your manifest file if you are not doing it dynamically so assume you are mp3 or your song got downloaded in that case we'll be using dynamic broadcast receivers that you'll be seeing in the coming videos as of now i have just initialized a static broadcast receiver and one important thing is on receive would be called so broadcast default method that you have to override is on receive so whatever you want to try to do you have to do that on, on receive so now in my manifest file i have added suitable permissions that is needed and i have also added a receiver class and i have added what is the action that it has to be taken in the coming video we will try to see how to read the message that we have sent from our emulator and we will try to do respective operations please subscribe to our youtube channel for more android videos thank you